Meantime, back here at home in the summer travel season, kicking into high gear, millions on the move, passing pre-pandemic levels now, but many describing nightmare experiences with crowded airports and thousands of flights delayed or canceled. Here's ABC's Andrew Dimbert. Tonight, the summer travel mess kicking into high gear as demand soars past pre-pandemic levels. We're going to baggage claim right now. Uh, we too, we checked a bag, yeah. so we'll, we'll be there waiting longer. About like a 12-hour travel experience. Already today, over 4,000 flights delayed or canceled nationwide. The TSA screening more than 2.4 million people in the U.S. Friday, the most since Thanksgiving weekend. There's just not a lot of slack in the airline systems for this summer. Yvonne McGee and Gloria Brown feeling that effect firsthand, trying to fly to Philly when their flight was delayed. And this is unacceptable. We booked these flights uh, a month and a half ago. Earlier this week, bad weather at some of the country's largest hubs in the Northeast led to a ripple of cancellations. Over 3,200 total in the U.S. since Thursday. The first notification said your flight's delayed. The very second text was, actually, it's canceled. Industry experts say a severe staff shortage from air traffic control to cockpits is largely to blame. They don't have enough employees to be able to support the summer crush. And hoping to avoid a repeat of the mass cancellations on Memorial Day weekend, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg met with airline executives this week, urging them to fix the disruptions and better communicate with customers. This is why you saw a month or two ago many airlines taking the drastic step of actually trimming their summer flight schedules. And this upcoming July 4th holiday is expected to be even busier than last year. So tonight, the TSA says employees will be working overtime and it'll take officers from less busy airports and staff them at busier ones if needed. Whit? Not really a cascade of issues they have to address. Andrew, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.